Excellent, excellent. Cindy Stevens here, and we are interviewing a little bit about what is it, writing and getting a writer involved in your work. Right, right. Websites. You're clarifying yeah. what it is that really a, a freelance writer does, the different kinds of writers out there, because it's very confusing, yeah. and really the benefit they bring to the table. Yeah, well, a lot of writers have a journalism background, and it's really, you know, that's one side of the equation. In English majors and things like that. And I think from a marketing perspective, you being in marketing, it gives you a little advantage over some of those backgrounds because it you can does. see, you can select words that are specific to the marketing. No, I practice. like it. I, I love that you pointed that out because I have worked with many writers with journalism backgrounds, mm -hmm. and we, for the most part, in my experience, we have different styles. And so they usually come from writing from newspapers, maybe technical documents. Yeah. Again, this is my experience. But given that I'm a marketing writer, I come at it from a marketing and advertising background. Yeah. I ran marketing communications and advertising in the corporate world for many years. And I worked with salespeople that said, you know, what's it going to take in this brochure, in this direct mail piece, on the website? What's it going to take to sell something? And I would learn immediately what we needed to communicate that would actually explain the value of their unique benefits and services. Sure. And as a business owner, I would think that being inside the business and having firsthand experience that, that you know, a writer coming from the outside wouldn't necessarily be an advantage. However, that's not necessarily true. What, what, what's the deal with that? No, I'm hearing that right. I mean, it would make sense. Kind that of a fresh you, perspective? Yes. If you have someone on the inside, and I've seen many, in fact, that's how I came up with the name of my company, because I would be Which pulled is? into the conference room, a good writer. A good writer. <laughs> and companies would, would bring me into the conference room, and they'd be shaking their heads, and they'd say, well, we tried and gave this to our admin. You know, it made sense to give it to our IT guy because we're writing website content. You know, we gave it to Joe, the accountant. Oh. I gave it to my brother-in-law. And I'm looking at them like, well, they're saying, oh, they didn't just quite, they just didn't nail you it. You see That's it so thing. often in business that if people hand it off to the lowest common denominator and they wonder why the words are not resonating with the audience, right? It is. It really is like that. I mean, not that they're not giving the effort, not... The, not right. that they're trying. However, when you want something done right, you hire a professional to get it done right. You know, I love it. I mean, the IT specialist and the admin and the accountant, they were hired to bring a certain skill set to the table. Right. It's the same with a writer. Well, they have a talent. They have a, they have a, a job. They and do. A, and a focus. They do. And it's probably a headache for them to write it because it's not what they do every day. Well, in... in you know, with your experience and background in marketing and your writing and your capabilities, you know, across multiple industries, how do you how do you manage through that process? You know, I I have been asked that many times. I mean, how do I know how to write about the manufacturing facility or the medical lab or the healthcare consulting or the insurance company? Yeah. And it's all the same. Industries certainly have all their own unique nuances and characteristics. And I appreciate that, certain terminology, oil and gas, it's a very good example of that. Right. However, I come at it from an objective perspective, which means I'm looking at it from the customer viewpoint. Right. So if you have a potential customer that is hungry for their product or service, I'm able to look at it from that perspective and understand what is needing to be said. Across industries, it's the same thing. Good writing, good sales writing. Good marketing writing is the same. Yeah, and it's the intent and the audience that you're targeting, not the company. And I think a lot of people don't really understand that clearly. Is that you're you're writing for the person you want to connect to, not the person that owns the business, because that message is completely different. No, but, no I love it. I mean, you really nailed it. No one cares what we think. No, or what you think. <laughs> <laughs> what they care about is that they can find what they want and go after it. Exactly. And the quickest way to to connect with somebody in your audience when you're dealing with the written word is, is to make sure that those words are very clear, concise, and to the point. 
right? Right. I get, you know? I get much too flowery. I get really, you know, technical, and I'm in a bubble and everything else, and nobody understands what I say half the time. So, well, you know, you you have, and again, you you come from an area of strength in terms of technical understanding, understanding, you know, everything that is, you know, you have a knowledge base. It's very specialized, and and I appreciate it. Thank heavens you do. <laughs> but my, where I'm coming from are really implementing, developing, and creating words that satisfy the objectives of a company, and that's my focus, and that's what I do, and and I get paid for it. So it's it's worth looking at hiring a writer because simply they bring a skill set and an objectivity to the table that it would be difficult for you to do. Absolutely, absolutely. So how do people get a hold of you if they want to, or they're curious about what it takes to get you engaged in a project that they have going on? Well, I like what you said that in that way also, because really, it, it, it begins with a conversation. Absolutely. It doesn't hurt to call. In fact, it's, it's pretty usual for someone to sit and speak with a writer a little bit because a lot of it is trust. Mm -hmm. Do I understand well, where you're trying to too. go? Personality. Do you have yeah. a do you have a relationship that you'll be able to work with the writer? Because essentially, a writer mm -hmm. is a ghost writer. I mean, no one. I am writing as you, so I have to be able to pick up on what's crucial to you, what's crucial to your business. So call me. Uh, to really just begin a conversation. And I have an office line, and it's 713-349-4384. And I have a website, agoodwriter.com. A lot of what we're talking about is also on my blog. That's a selection on my website, and it's called The Verb Blog. And I, I believe it's in the left nav bar, it's, it's the last option on the homepage. We're we'll have notes on the, in the, uh, in the uh, video. Yeah. Did you want to talk a little bit about SEO? Because I hear a lot of that. And there's a lot of confusion about that in the marketplace as well, in terms of what a writer can bring to the table. Well, absolutely, because if if you're listening to this and you haven't been familiar with SEO, search engine optimization, and you know everybody's running thinking they need to be at the top of the list when somebody searches in a certain phrase or a keyword or a search term, and you're your business pops up. That's the result of quality content over time and search engine optimization. So how can you help businesses with that? There's a, you know, there's a lot to it. Um, there's so many steps to optimizing a website. So you can move up in the search rankings mm -hmm. of Google being Yahoo, the, the three major search engines. From a content perspective, if a writer is telling you that they are a web content developer, there's so many things involved in that, but quickly, what that means is a web content developer works with the business owner or department head, whomever, and they work very closely with the webmaster and web designer. Yeah. And what they're doing is, again, they're thinking in terms of the audience, what you're trying to say to accomplish your business objective. So they are navigating the website in their mind and creating content, this is only one facet, creating content that allows the end user to easily navigate throughout the site. Essentially, with our words, we're creating a roadmap. There are technical aspects as well. And when I say that, I mean a web content developer also creates what are called tags. Mm -hmm. There are meta tags, title tags, depending on the budget of the, of the client. Um, you you propose those and offer those that are going to be supplied on the back end in the development of the site. And both of those are crucial. But in the end, honestly, to because Bing, Yahoo, and Google have so many rules and everything they're doing around changing around what their algorithms are picking up, and it changes almost daily. It's always, it, it's not a one and done thing. No, no, no. And you it's, really have to keep up with it. Yeah. And I know that you as a web developer do that as well. But as a web content developer, essentially in the end, good, like you said, good, clean, concise, intelligent copy certainly supports search engine optimization. And I think 
you know, everything that I've read and everything I'm hearing, 2016, they're really pushing a lot of uh, the idea of content being upgraded. You know, the better the content, the more organically it's going to be shared, is going to rank higher in Google, being in the obvious search terms. Because the quality of the content is really going to be. It right. is, you know, you, you hear all the time people don't read, and you know, I, I, I honestly have a tendency to, to agree. When you have an online document that certainly reads uh, differently than hard copy, Absolutely. they're going to scan, and they're going to scan essentially until they find what they're looking for. And with the website, you have between three and five seconds to capture their attention. And if you don't, they're often running with your competition. And that's another thing that's extremely important in terms of content. Well, and, and one thing that you've been able to help really nail, and I've seen it re recently on a project, was uh, writing content for video. I mean, you've done you've written content for video that was just outstanding. And so that's another area that business owners are really going to be focusing in on 2016. They are. And, and with, your, I mean, with your video capabilities and a good writer... A, a client can be off and running and, and really get noticed. And actually, because of the script is written, again, with the business objectives in mind, mm -hmm. you can leverage that content on the website. In fact, should you, you not only really leverage it, yeah. right, you, you can use it in millions of ways. Yeah. Uh, you know, share just close it a little bit, share and reshare, and leverage it. Because mm -hmm. it's, writers are very cognizant today of tight budgets, and certainly timing, and that's another reason to hire a professional writer. We're very experienced with understanding how businesses run, um, that you don't have a lot of time sitting around to, to sit around and speak with a writer. We need to get it and get it quickly. And once we do, Turn that content can be reused effectively with a few tweaks. Well, thank you so much for sharing a few ideas for today. And uh, I'd love to hear more. And we'll probably have some other videos here sharing across the social streams and, and putting the word out for a good writer.com. <laughs> Cindy Stevens. I appreciate it, Russ. Thank you so much for your time. You bet.